So though we have uh, targeted therapy for AML, specifically FLT3, IDH1, IDH2 inhibitors, the majority of patients with AML still do not have a targeted therapy for their disease. And we know particularly in the relapse refractory setting, outcomes are poor. Um, so what the menin inhibitors do is they offer a chance for targeted therapy to be developed for two molecular and biological subsets of AML that previously we didn't have. So NMP1 mutant represents potentially one of the larger genetic subsets, encompassing about a third of newly diagnosed AML patients. Um, MLL or KT and T rearranged ALL represents five to ten percent. So the combination of menin inhibitors for NMP1 and KMT2A offers the ability for us for the first time to t provide targeted therapy for the majority of AML patients.